Hey, this is Todd Snader, and this is my swing analysis. I'm taking charge of my game, and you need to take charge of yours. So, Todd, thank you so much for that fantastic intro. Glad that you're back into the game now. So, let's see if we can really help get some consistency for Todd. So, yep. let's look at the goal swings. So, down the line view, first of all, posture. We have that C-shaped posture. A little bit difficult to rotate from there, potentially. Let's have a look at the goal swing. From here, it doesn't look too bad. Path and plane looks relatively decent from yep. here. When we go into the front on view, though, we can see we mentioned rotation. We're not getting a great deal of rotation. So the pivot isn't the best it could be here. There's not a lot of hip turn or shoulder turn. So Andy, when we see that kind of motion in a golfer, we know that it's going to be hard to get the power they want, the strike they want, and the accuracy. Yeah, and he mentions consistency, Pierce. When there's a lot of arm motion and not much body motion, then we're out of synchronization. So when the arms are doing a lot, then the face is generally going to be doing a lot. So if we can actually match up a good pivot motion yeah. with the hands and arms and club, then we are going to be in much better control of the club face. But also, I think he's losing a lot of power. You know, if we can create 100%. some turn, you are definitely going to improve some, some power, Todd. So we're going to give you that today, hopefully. Let's see the drill. Okay, so look, two alignment sticks is all you need. So I'm just going to place the first one through my belt loops like this. So um, apart from the turn that we're going to get you to do, Todd. What we're also going to get you to do is just change the posture slightly. We'll go through that in a moment. Now, all I'm going to do is get a golf ball in front of me like so. I'm going to take my stance with the golf club and then position a ball just opposite my lead toe like so. Now, I've got the one through the belt loose pierce and I'm going to get the one across my shoulders like so in my golf posture. Now, what we're looking to do to create a good turn, a guide pierce, is we want roughly a 90 degree shoulder turn and then we want a roughly a 45 degree hip turn. So I'm looking to get my shoulders at 90 degrees during the backswing, but also the hips look. I'm looking to get my alignment stick through the hips to cover the golf ball on the ground opposite my lead toe. If I'm somebody who under turns like, like this, you can see now there's not much rotation and the alignment stick through my hips is nowhere near that. So it's really encouraging me to wind up that upper body, really create that load that we need and create that sort of X factor that we need to get that power and synchronization with the arms and the body. Yeah, one more time for me. And we'll talk, as you said, we'll talk about the posture in a moment. But you, you from here now are looking at that golf ball, but you're looking at it through this alignment. Exactly, stick, yeah. I can see so straight through that there. When I stand here, the reality of that is that actually that alignment stick is in between these two golf balls. So if you've got someone checking it for you, Todd, they're looking to see that this stick is between the two golf balls. But yourself, Todd, you're looking to match it up over the golf ball on the ground there. Definitely. So it's a great feeling, that is. Yes. Now... That's a great drill to get the feeling of the body, but what we want to see if we can do with that is then have a feeling that you can take to the golf shot. Mm -hmm. So from here, all I'm going to do now, that feeling is, I'm going to imagine that I've got some eyes in my back. I'm going to swing to the top of the backswing, and those eyes are going to look straight down the fairway. This is going to encourage me to create that turn just like we had like that. So if I was to under turn now, then those eyes are really <laughs> pointing behind me up here. So really good feeling to get those eyes looking down the fairway. This is going to help me load into that backswing as well. And I think, look, it's really important. The reason, you know, it sounds a bit of a silly thing to say, but actually the alignment stick in there and the golf ball there, you can't do on the golf course. So you need to be able to have something you can then transfer, and this works perfectly for you. Yeah, us. it's a nice feeling of that. Now, think about this, guys, as well. Getting the upper body, turning over the right leg, really puts me in this loaded position at the top of the backswing, which enables me then to use the ground in a good sequence and get as much energy to the golf ball as we can. Now question time. What is the correct sequence of the downswing? We've got four components. We've got the hips, the club, the hands and the torso. What order should they go in? List below and we'll pin the, uh, the correct answer to the top of this post. Okay, perfect. All right, so good sequence. Todd is going to get that by getting more rotation, but we have to go with the posture because if we notice Todd's posture again, we can have a look, see, we have this sort of C posture. Yep. The belt is sort of coming in quite level it makes sense that it's hard to rotate from there, isn't it? Exactly. So the handle's low, belt's quite level, the posture is very curved. So what we're going to get Todd to do is stand nice and tall, neutral pelvis. We're going to get him to hinge from the hips so the belt sort of hinges forward. And then from here now, we can see that the posture and the spine is a little bit more neutral and we're not so hunched over the golf ball. This is going to enable him to free up that turn as well. Okay. All right. So let's see you hit a goal shot. So what we're looking for is obviously we're looking for a good posture, good neutral athletic posture. And then from there, we want eyes in your back. Okay. I didn't have a clue what he was on about when he sprung that up on me, by the way. Okay, so I used to look down the, down the target at the top of the backswing, a good wind-up here. Yeah, 
You'll take that, won't you? Very nice. Plenty of power in that one as well, Piers. Not bad, not bad. Okay, Todd, look, we hope you enjoyed that. Plenty of things there for you to work out. Now, don't forget to answer the question down below. And if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. It allows you to reach 